Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. When working games as part of a referee team, it is important that each official be consistent when applying the laws of the game and managing the behavior of players and coaches. The referee team must also be fully aware of the need to communicate with one another quickly, clearly, and accurately. In order to support these objectives, referees are expected to conduct a pre-game conference before every game, regardless of the level of competition or the experience of the officials involved. In general, there are four key characteristics that officials should know about the pregame conference. The first is that every pregame conference takes time, and officials must plan to make time for it. This usually means arranging to meet somewhere at or near the field, factoring in the time of kickoff and the other pregame duties the referee team is responsible for. Second, just because officials have worked together in the past, that doesn't mean the pregame conference can be abbreviated. It is obvious that the pregame conference is critical for officials who are unfamiliar with one another, but it is just as important even when officials have been previously assigned to matches together. Third, the pregame conference is meant to be a conversation and not a lecture. Although the referee has the responsibility to lead the conversation and to make final decisions when there are alternatives, all members of the referee team should be involved. They must be willing to ask questions if anything is unclear and the referee should be prepared to provide workable and understandable answers. And finally, failing to have any pregame conference or having one that is significantly shortened can lead to problems or challenges. The more competitive the match, the more likely it is that the performance of the referee team will suffer. Even when a referee is assigned to a game without assistant referees, there still needs to be a discussion before the game to ensure that any volunteer club linesmen used clearly understand their role under the laws of the game. Before the pregame conference can begin in a meaningful way, the referee must know or find out the experience of the referee team. This should include information about their officiating background, game experience, and comfort level of assignment. This information is important so the referee can plan the pregame conference based on the strengths and weaknesses of the referee team while still focusing on important information specific to the match. At a minimum, U.S. Soccer recommends that referees cover the following topics during the pregame conference. The local rules of competition and any recent changes in the laws of the game. Any specific delegation of responsibilities by the referee to the assistant referees and any non-standard signals or mechanics the referee wants used. Information about the teams, individual players, coaches, standings, etc. And any factors that may potentially affect the game such as weather conditions, field issues, or time constraints. It is the referee's responsibility to have thought out and planned these topics in advance. This allows for better execution and will help ensure that important information specific to the game and referee team is not overlooked. The pregame conference is meant to be a conversation among professionals and may include sensitive topics that might be misinterpreted or misunderstood by others. Because of this, U.S. Soccer recommends that the conversation not be conducted within the presence of players, coaches, or spectators. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to keep visiting ussoccer.com to view additional referee education resources aimed at providing officials of all levels with information on the laws of the game and advice on practical refereeing.